hello guys so today I am with a new tutorial how to use a picker view in your app so let's start first of all I just created a blank project a new project with name picker tube so this is the default view controller so let's put a UI view um, which will hold the picker view uh, used in your app so here I am placing a view so this is the view so let's make it aligned to the bottom of the screen and make its width uh, dynamic so that it covers the complete width of the device screen and just give it a background color let's give it some orange color now we place a picker view inside this uh, UI view as a sub view so here I'm placing a picker view this is your picker view now it's already dynamic uh, width it already has a dynamic width let's move ahead and place two buttons one is to cancel the selection normally it comes to the left side of the screen because of the UX protocols because normally people are right-handed so uh, and we, we, we assume that they will most of the time use the select button so that's why we place cancel button on left side and select button on right side so let's place this button and here it comes the select button and here is a view is ready and let's align it to the right side of the screen and here we are ready with this so let's go to the view controller header file and make some IB outlets and include the picker view delegate and data source so I think you know how to include the data source and delegate if you know how to use the table view so here I am creating the IB outlet of picker view I named it picker v now I'll, I'll create a IB outlet for the holder which holds the picker view so let's name it picker holder next two buttons that is picker cancel and picker select and let's define the property non-atomic I explained in my previous video I've been coding from last eight years and I mostly use non-atomic with ARC enabled and it helps me to you know never fell in a issue of heap memory or anything with this non-atomic uh, property so and this is the button to show the picker view now let's move to the master file and synthesize all the IB outlets synthesize actually is kind of uh, what you call the mutators in Java and synthesize is similar to that synthesize initiate the getter and setter for the object so here I set the picker holder hidden initially because we don't want to show that uh, view to the user initially now I am just defining a IB action function for buttons and here I am placing a condition for show picker so here I just set the picker holder to set hidden no now let's do the picker cancel and again uh, on top of picker cancel we want to hide the picker holder view so and this is the picker select <coughs> sorry so we'll do the this code later so let's first start with the picker view uh, delegate and data source functions so here I am defining a selected integer type variable and setting it to minus one initially now uh, we'll tell the picker view that how many rows are going to be there in picker view so let's create a, a dummy dummy array so here I am defining a array 
picker options and I'll put some dummy values in this uh, array like A, B, C, D, E, F just for the tutorial. So these are the dummy values I'm inserting in array, mutable array. So So here I return the array count as number of rows in a picker view. Now I'll define the height of a row in picker view. So let's make it 50. Okay, let's make it 70. And now we are we are uh, overriding a picker view view for row index uh, view for row function. And here I, I just create a UI view with the same height uh, as described in height for row in above function. So here I am defining 0, 0 as x, y axis and then I am passing the picker view width as the width of this UI view and the height same as we defined in above function. These are some uh, properties I am setting like clear color, background, now I am defining a UI label which will actually display the value of or uh, the text in picker options array. So it will it will be of same uh, same width and height. Uh, you can say the same frame or bounds for uh, the UI view we we defined above. No, I'm just setting its properties like text color, alignment. If you want right aligned or left aligned, you can do it here. Here we are setting the text from and finally the text alignment I set it to center and then we just add this uh, label to the view and finally return the view now we are done now what will happen when the uh, when a row is selected so we are overriding the function and we are setting selected equals to row okay it's giving us a warning so let's cast it to int and finally we do the code for the picker selected and here we just uh, we, I'm just setting the title of the show picker button to the option selected you can you can uh, set the value to any label or you know text field whatever you you have in your app where you want to show the selected value you can do it here and finally let's connect the IB outlets so this is a picker holder this is a picker V let's connect the data source and delegate to this picker view and then finally the 
buttons let's connect the IB outlet for button and it's touch up inside function to button pressed same for select button and finally we place a button show picker so on tap of this button the picker will show up you made this you make the selection and it will be shown in the title of this show picker button okay so it's centrally aligned so let's change its title to show picker and background color to something else let's select red and let's connect the IB outlet This is the number of components. This is mandatory in case of picker view, but not mandatory in case of UI table view. So I return one if you have one or two or three three components. So just uh, define here. It's same like sections in uh, UI table view. So like the video and uh, do subscribe if you want to get notified for my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.